What's up guys? Welcome back on the channel. It's been quite a while since the last video and in the meantime I did some modifications, some upgrades on the Santon which I wanted to share with you. And also at the end of the video we have a nice uh, bash session in the snow where I try some drifting. Uh, and you're gonna see not one but two Santons because a friend of mine also bought one. He wasn't really into RC cars. But I handed him my transmitter at one time and after just five minutes of driving he said to me I gotta get me one of those. So now you're gonna see some more collaboration in the future. Um, let us jump right in because we got some nice upgrades, got some nice batteries here, two new motors, this, we got something to say about the dusty motors cover and this. So let us jump right in. Let me start off with the Dusty Motors cover. I'm really pleased with this. This works real nice. It keeps like 90% of all the dirt and debris out of your car. And I haven't had any issues with the pebbles or anything getting in between the steering, which does happen a lot on the Santin. And I, I notice it myself and I see it in other videos. So this, this really works. The only downside is it's very fragile. It's, it's a very thin, uh, plasticky textile, but where it rubs on the frame, like the side guards are here, it, it, it tears up real easily. So I patch it up. It doesn't look great, but I patch it up with uh, this is some heat shrink on both sides with some CA glue in between. Works perfect. So I do recommend it. It's, it's uh, really glad I purchased this. Next up, the motors. I have the Racer Star motor in here now for about two months already. And I'm really pleased with this. It, 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 I don't noticing any, any difference with the original motor. It's just as fast or maybe even a little bit faster. I'm running it with an 18 tooth pinion because also the original motor was getting quite hot. So I thought, uh, why not? The Santon is fast enough for me. So I'm putting an 18 tooth pinion in there just to give it a little bit of a break. Um, the Surpass Hobby motor we ordered just came in yesterday because we had some troubles. This one is from Banggood. This one is from AliExpress. It came within like three weeks. This one just came in yesterday because we had some troubles with customs. They lost it or something. There was not a correct address on it. I saw in the tracking. I sent an email to Banggood. They provided the customs with the correct address they said, but still it did not come in. And on Banggood you can get a shipping insurance, which means if it gets lost in the mail or anything, you get a free resend. Uh, the, the insurance was like 20 cents, so why not? And it worked. They, they, they sent me a new one, which came in like yesterday, and now everything w was good because it took also like two weeks, maybe three weeks. And in the future, I will try it out, but for now, I'm really pleased with the Racer Star one, so we're gonna leave that in there. And the batteries also ordered some new batteries because it only had one battery and it, it's, it's, it's not enough. So I ordered these Z, Z Power, Z Hobby uh, batteries, 6000 milliamp. They just fit in here. If you remove both the stops, you can fit, they just fit in here. Maybe let me see. Yeah, maybe like five millimeters clearance on one side for the cables. So that's perfect and they're really powerful they really deliver when i first put these in there i thought my car uh, i thought was it a 4s because it really had some punch to it really like these batteries well balanced uh, well balanced cells and uh, no issues whatsoever and two for 70 euros and the one battery that i had i bought at a hobby store but it was one 5,000 milliamp battery for like 60 euros. So I'm really pleased. I can recommend them. 
Um, links in the description. Then the shocks and the shock mounts. They are from GPM. Also had the GPM shocks for for my subscribers. They knew on the Rock Bounce budget build. I used uh, GPM shocks because the Chinese other yeah they are from Hong Kong, but the, the, the AliExpress standard shocks they were not adequate. They were binding up, bending, snapping. So I ordered these. They are four millimeter shafts uh, instead of the three millimeter on the original ones. So a bit sturdier, real smooth. They come pre-filled from the factory. The shock mounts, they are more aesthetic. I don't know if you add strength or anything. You do have some more positions you put, can you put your shocks in, but I put them on there more for aesthetics because I like it, the, the, the orange, it will come back in a new body. Um, also very good service, GPM. I ordered the blue ones, but they were not in stock. So I got like in one day, I got an email from them asking, sorry, sir, we cannot deliver the blue ones. We do have these and these and these colors. Which one would you like? So I sent back an email. And within one hour, I got an email back saying, uh, we will ship them today, thank you. So that's perfect. And it took less than two weeks to get here from Hong Kong to Holland. So that's also real nice. I will be ordering more from GPM, from the website directly. It, it, it works, it's good uh, experience with them. So I can recommend it. Take a look at their website. They have lots of upgrades for lots of different cars and brands. So. Take a look at that, link in the description. And then the last thing, the new Proline body. <laughs> because my friend also had a Santon, has a Santon now, and he chose exactly the same color. Uh, I thought to myself, I need to change my car a bit. It's always nice to, I think it's always nice to keep tinkering at your car and give it a new look. So I decided to get myself a different body. And I chose the Proline Jeep Gladiator Rubicon Edition, which was made for the Traxxas Slash 4x4, but it also fits the Santon, they told me. If I remove the side guards, remove one mud flap here, and lower one body mount, because as you can see, the, the bed here is a little bit lower than the hood, so it should be good, and, but we'll see that in the next video. Uh, I will show you the colors that I want to paint it in. I'm not gonna show you where the colors come, but this is this is the these are the colors we want to paint it in. I do have a little bit of experience in painting because prior to my RC hobby, I did some airbrushing. I will flash some pictures in screen for you now. And as you can see, we should be good. It's only difference is you work backwards with this because you paint the inside. You have to apply, yeah, just the colors in, in, in backward orders. But I think we should be good. I just have to really think it through. Uh, maybe it's a complete fiasco, but we'll see that in the next video. It could be a nice laugh for you. But I think we, we, we should be good. That's enough rambling for me. For now, let me uh, leave you with the drift, the snow drift footage from the sentence. And I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely did. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching and stay safe.